New at 6, one of the many senior proms tonight will include an almost magical dress. The East Greenwich prom is one of five the dress will travel to. Eyewitness News reporter Wolfie Toe has this week's street story. This all starts with four really good friends who lost a fifth to cancer. Catherine Malatesta's prom last May in Arlington, Mass, was her last night out. She lost her battle with a rare form of cancer in August. Well, I play basketball, yeah. But not before leaving an impression of strength on her friends. For how sick she was feeling, it was incredible how much she actually did. She really changed my life a lot. On my worst days, sometimes I'll be like, all right, my friend who had cancer, who's going through chemotherapy, tried to go to school whenever she could so I can suck it up and go to school. It was a quip from Catherine's mom that led to what is now known as the sisterhood of the traveling prom dress. Emma and a few other close friends were in Catherine's room after she passed away. Catherine's mom was just like, does anyone need a prom dress? Like, just kind of like joking around. There were eventually four nods, and with the magic of a few stitches in the hem, the dress fit. It goes from the highest ranges from Lauren, who's 5'10", to Carly, who's 5'2", so it's pretty amazing that the dress can, like, shift almost in that way. It's really magical. For this East Greenwich High senior who met Catherine at camp about three years ago, it's more than a dress. When she puts it on for her prom in Newport, she expects her friend to follow. She would definitely be so delighted that we're doing this for her, and I know she'll 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 see us in the dress. She'll find some way to look down on us. She's she'd love it. When I'm in the dress, I feel a lot like I feel her spirits with me. I feel more beautiful, and that I feel that's it's a really really special feeling. That magical dress travels back to Arlington, Massachusetts, for another prom next week. Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.